Hi, this is Travis, also known as Art Journal Guy, and this is my funky ATCs and bookmarks video. I'm working on a piece of Canson XL mixed media paper without gesso, and you can see me trying to get the collage posh to come out of the bottle. There it goes. just spreading that down and here I'm applying an image of an art foamy stamp by Julie Faithan Balzer called Love Candy. I have a couple of those that I'm going to stick down. I'm also going to be sticking down a couple of random collage elements that I have in a drawer, just stuff that I need to get rid of. I'm not really paying attention to shape or color so much as just getting something down for the first layer. Now comes the fun part where I get to start adding paint and I decided I hadn't used my dilutions paints in a while so I picked two colors. You'll see the crushed grape has gotten a little bit dry. Some of the water has evaporated, but it just kind of makes it a little bit thicker when you apply it. So I was looking forward to using it that way instead of going the route of adding some water and thinning it out. At this stage I'm not really focusing on blending the yellow and purple together uh, so much as just getting the first layer down. Um, I don't like to leave a lot of white space so you'll see even with the dry brush I'll go over some of the white in certain areas just to get the white covered. And this is the point where I decided to add some texture stamps to the background. You'll see me do this a couple of times throughout the video. I like to use a handheld USB fan instead of a heat gun so that I don't get the paint um, bubbling up on me. And then I'll also put a piece of spare paper down and try to pick up any excess paint that might be there. It also works pretty well for ink too. Then 
the page was starting to look a little chaotic, so I wanted to do something to unify it all together. And I decided the best way to do that would be to put down some white linen dilutions paint. This is one of my favorite stencils and you're going to see me use a baby wipe to just pull up some of that white linen paint. I really like how it looks when it's finished. I also had the idea to add some text and scribbles, so that's what I'm doing now. Uh, most of it isn't legible, and you'll see it doesn't really even make it through to the finished product that well, since it's water soluble. But um, sometimes it's nice to just try something different and get out of your box a little bit. This is a tag that I was thinking about incorporating in some way. I decided to reach for some distress crowns to do the coloring, and then I opted to smudge it with my finger instead of adding water. Um, it didn't really work out that well, so you'll see that I decided not to use it, so I just saved it for a separate project. Whenever I don't know what to do next, I usually end up reaching for these acrylic inks because I could reach them from where I'm sitting. And uh, I like using them, they're just fun and you can't really control them all the time, so you usually end up with something a little bit different than what you thought you were going to. And then, just to make it even more fun, you just spray some water and watch as the paint and water mix and it kind of bleeds throughout your page. I let the page dry overnight and then I decided to go in and add some more texture. So I picked up another Natalie Kalbach stamp and this is how it looks. I was a little heavy handed here in the middle just because I wanted to create a focal point and I'm really happy with how it turned out. This is the fun photo montage segment to show you how it looks close up. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. But I'm not quite done yet. I cut out the ATCs and some bookmarks from the page 
and this is what those look like. There's also a couple more at the top, but I couldn't fit all of it into the camera screen. This is Matisse Southern Ocean Blue acrylic paint that I've mixed with some airbrush medium in a fine liner bottle. And I'm just going to add some of this to the ATCs and bookmarks to create texture. <laughs> And I decided to add another solution of Quinn Acridone Magenta from the Blick Studio Acrylic line mixed with Airbrush Medium for some contrast to the Southern Ocean Blue. And this is how they look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed the video.